So I decided to take a short trip to what might possibly be the most underrated small town in all of Iowa. With a population of around 7,600, this town is well known for two main attractions. One is a natural phenomenon called an ice cave that stays cold year round and has layers of ice on the walls and the other one is a waterfall located only two miles away. So Saturday evening I arrived a little too late to adventure. So all that means is that I have a very, very, very busy day tomorrow and it's time to prepare for that. Luckily it rained today and it's not going to rain tomorrow so I'll be free to record all day. I'm definitely not cooking tonight, so let's see what they have in store. I need to get some stuff for dinner tonight as well as breakfast for tomorrow, something quick and easy for the go. The only downside is that I chose to go to a gas station so I could pay an arm and a leg for everything. On the bright side though, I did get a new fridge and it's a lot bigger than my old one, so I don't have to worry about space. It's time to eat dinner real quick and then find a place to park so I can sleep. Luckily this town has a really nice hotel with a very big parking lot, so I'm not complaining about that. I can just park in the back and stay out of the way. So it literally dropped like 20 degrees overnight, which is crazy. It's like 58 degrees right now, and I am not awake. I need some caffeine in my system for sure. But hey, it's time to get this day started. I'm not gonna lie, this fridge looks so sick. It's all metal and it just looks like a military product. Nothing like enjoying breakfast in a hotel parking lot. I can't really complain because nobody's really awake yet, so it's not like I have any eyes on me. To start my day, I'm going to explore the town just a little bit and see what it's about. I think the early morning is the perfect time because there shouldn't be that many people on the road. One thing that's really going to make my adventuring process a lot more efficient is this foldable e-bike that I've added to my setup. This is gonna allow me to travel around cities fairly quick and get a bunch of footage way faster than I could. And I can't even lie, this thing's got some torque. I think the top speed's like 28 miles per hour. So almost immediately after I started riding around, I instantly began to get kind of like the small town vibe from this place. And I don't know about you guys, but I actually love the small town vibes. I don't know why, but whenever I'm in a small town, I kind of picture myself growing up there and wonder what it would be like. When I see all the different buildings, I wonder what it would be like as a kid to roam the streets and kind of do all the things that people here would do growing up. I don't know, maybe that's a little strange, that's just how my mind works. I also feel like small towns tend to preserve a lot of their history, so whenever I go to a small town, it almost feels like I entered a time capsule and went back to like a different era. Like for instance, this place right here, I can just picture myself being a blue collar mill worker or something and saying, hey honey, I'm gonna grab milk at the market on the way home. <laughs> I don't know, it's just stuff like that. Another thing that I found particularly interesting about this place is that there's a lot more trees in this town for some reason than any other town I've seen in Iowa. Now I'm not an Iowa native or anything, but I have been to a lot of towns and usually it's just vast arrays of cornfields and I've never seen this many trees in one place. I mean, it literally feels like I'm in a different state. I mean, come on, just look at this landscape, the windmill behind the forest. Oh my, that looks like a movie. So after checking out the town, which I don't regret, it's time to go to the main event.
Oof, the road is closed, half mile walk. <laughs> Not for me, I got my bike. And oh yeah, I do wanna show you guys my setup real quick. It still works. I had to consolidate a little bit. The microwave had to go and I had to move some stuff around, but it still works for me. Now it's time to really put this bike to the test and get it up to top speed on the straight road. I'm not going to lie, this thing is pretty fun. <laughs> and it has 74 miles of range, which is crazy. Oh, okay, now I see why the road was closed. There's rocks falling off this cliff. <laughs> so we made it in no time thanks to the bike. And let's see what this place is about. To be honest, I feel like they could have done a little better with the sign. Let me get an aerial view of this place so that I can get a better picture of what I'm dealing with here. I mean, wow, just look at that. That is beautiful. All right, let's go see some caves. I really like these steps. They have some interesting architecture. I am definitely getting my workout in today. <laughs> I'm not complaining though. Okay, here we go. Found the opening. Okay, by this point, I can definitely feel the temperature difference. That's honestly insane. I know caves are like damp and cool, but this one's actually cold. It feels like a freezer in like a restaurant or something. Yeah, I'm just going to say it. If you're claustrophobic, this probably is not the adventure for you. I mean, it's nothing like those crazy cave diving guys, but it is pretty cramped in here. I don't know if the camera is going to show the thin layer of ice glistening off these walls, but I see what they're talking about and I understand now why it's called the ice caves. That was not a disappointment, now it's time to go check out this waterfall. Honestly my expectations are not high for this in terms of size. Okay, it's not bad. It's not a baby waterfall, but I mean, it's not Niagara Falls by any means. But you know I have to take a closer look. I can't just look at this thing from the ground. It might not be big, but it is really pretty. That was risky. One slip and I'm tumbling down the waterfall. Okay, let's keep going. I'm not satisfied. I see it goes up farther, so I want to go check it out. These rocks are really slick, and I do not have the correct shoes for this, but I'm going to send it anyway. Okay, I'm almost at the top. I promise. <laughs> Yay, so I accomplished my goal. Now it's time to head down. <laughs> it was at this moment. He knew. He, nah, I'm playing. But I did not know that this was water. It was so still and so clear that I thought it was just the ground. So at this point, I'm pretty frustrated that I just stepped in water. So I'm going to head back now. Luckily, that was about it that the waterfall had to offer, though. I do want to stop at this abandoned house that I heard from a local that apparently a whole family was lost in here and now it's haunted. Just kidding. I made all of that up. I'm pretty sure this is just an abandoned house that someone probably could not afford to maintain. And at this point, it probably has some historical value as well. So overall, I would give Decora a 10 out of 10, especially considering it's such a small town, there's so much to do. I do not regret going on this trip. 